Christmas, y'all. It is Christmas Day. I'm here at the commissary kitchen. Uh, it's not too far from my house. I'm actually cooking Christmas dinner here right now for my family. We are going all Italian. We've got focaccia going, chicken parm, sausages made by a very good friend of ours, going with some pappardelle pasta, and I've got some stuffed flounder. Crab, Ritz cracker, breadcrumb, Parmesan cheese, basil, garlic, stuffed flounder. I was lucky enough eh, last weekend to go flounder gigging with our friend Davis Turner from Huckleberry Hospitality. Gigging is where you stand on the front of the boat uh, at nighttime. You go along really shallow waters uh, down the Texas Gulf Coast, shine a light down the water, you see a flounder just kind of lurking down there. Boom! You stab him with a little gig. It's a three-pronged trident looking thing. Uh, pull them up out of the water. We cleaned them up that night. Super, super fresh fish. I caught myself. We're going to do a stuffed smoked flounder here that I'm serving to my family for Christmas dinner. So here we go. We left shore in Port O'Connor about 5.30 p.m. on this little gigging boat. It has a prop but also had a fan on the back that was used when it was too shallow to operate the propeller. As soon as the sun went down, Davis and I took our places next to the guide and we trolled the marshy banks until about midnight looking for flounder and when the guide spotted him, we stabbed him through with a gig. It got pretty cold and windy as the night went on, but it was a hell of a good time if you're into that sort of thing. Here's Davis actually pulling one up out of the water as his dad opens up the cooler. That's a live fish right there. After we limited out, the guy cleaned up our fish for us. I requested he leave them whole and one with the head on so I could stuff them later uh, and we can get that whole head on fish presentation. This guy knew exactly where all the fish were. He was pretty young but super professional, cleaned up the fish for us, and it was pretty cheap as far as fishing expeditions go. If you have a chance to get down to Port O'Connor to go flounder gigging, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. After a run through the vacuum sealer and a short drive back to Austin, it's time to prep up the fish. First thing I'm going to do is take them out of the vac bag and start wiping them down. Fish actually secrete a glycoprotein from the cells on their skin and that's what makes them all slimy and stuff and I just want to get all that kind of slime off before I go cutting into the fish at all. Flounder are a flat fish, so that means that they just kind of rest on the bottom. That's why their belly and the underside of them is all white, and the top half is all camouflaged. Uh, that also means that they have evolved to have their eyes on the same side. And looking at the eyes on a fish is a good way to tell that it is super fresh, and as you can see, the eyes on this flounder are super clear. It does not smell fishy at all. You can't smell it, but I can tell you from experience it does not smell fishy at all. I'm just going to go ahead and take off this first little fin here and then we're going to start filleting the fish and making a little pocket for our stuffing. First thing I'm going to do is kind of cut where we would take the head off if we were taking the head off and just kind of cut like right behind the gills there. I know there are still scales on this fish but it doesn't really matter because we're going to peel the skin back anyway. The only thing I'm looking for here is to not get any scales inside the fish when I make the little pocket. So I'm cutting down the center of the fish here along its spine. What I really want to do is kind of make where I would make fillets. So if I were going to make fillets from this fish, I would just cut down the middle of the spine and hug the bones and kind of try to fillet the fish, cut the fish from the bones by scraping my knife along the bones. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go in a little bit and make a pocket and you'll see as I demo this here.
Okay, now that I've got a nice little pocket in the fish, I'm going to go ahead and do the stuffing now. I got a pint of picked crab leg meat, a pint of rough chopped fresh basil, got about a cup and a half or two cups of crumbled Ritz crackers. I've got around the same amount of the croutons we use on our kale Caesar salad all buzzed up in the food processor. I've also got two cups of grated Parmesan Reggiano cheese. And I'm also going to go in with uh, about a half a pound of butter that I cooked, about 12 cloves of garlic in, rough chop. There's also some dried herbs in there as well. I'm just going to go ahead and mix that up, mixing it thoroughly until it about has the consistency of a pie crust. I want it to hold together when I make a ball with it, but I don't want it to be too wet to where it's going to oversaturate the fish. Okay, it's time to stuff. I'm just going to divide that amount of stuffing that I made in half because I'm making two fish and divide that amount in half and just go ahead and stuff it in that little pocket there. So went ahead and stuffed the gut cavity as you can see there on the bottom just to get a little bit of extra stuffing in there and here is that entire process again one more time with the head off fish just in fast motion so you guys can see it again. Now since we're going to barbecue this fish, we need some barbecue rub. And I just happen to have some Valentina's Tex-Mex barbecue mesquite smoke dry rub lying around. Shout out to Valentina's. I got this little pack in my Texas Monthly barbecue box that we got for the online version of the barbecue festival this year. Hopefully we can see everybody at the real festival next year. But in the meantime, I'm smoking this fish. And I'm just adding a little bit to the top here just for some presentation and for a little bit of seasoning on the top of the fish. Again, we're gonna pull the skin away so it's not necessarily seasoning the fish. This is mostly just for a little bit of color. After adding a few pats of butter to the top of each fish stuffing, went ahead and threw it in the smoker. We're gonna rock it low at first. I'm gonna probably go about 150 or lower for the first 30 minutes. And then we're going to start slowly cranking up the temperature little by little until the fish is done. Once the fish reaches an internal temperature of 140 and the skin is easily peelable like that, you know we're done. Went ahead and transported it to my house in our fancy Yetis and we're ready to eat. First we got to peel the skin back. Again, this is going to peel back really, really easily. It's just going to kind of come back in sections. Fish is also rested really nicely and has a bunch of butter on there so it's going to be nice and juicy. And look at that skin just peel away. It's going to make for a really, really nice presentation. I went ahead and cooked the fish on some sheet trays that are covered in aluminum foil just to make sure the cleanup is nice and easy. I definitely didn't want to have to do a bunch of dishes on Christmas Day.
transferred it to a nice presentation platter with a big spatula and we're just going to finish it off with a little half lemon squeeze and it is time to eat. Mm -hmm.